Metal Scholars, what are your impressions when you see the cover of Sleep Token's second album, This Place Will Become Your Tomb? To me, it's a second take on what was done on Sundowning. You see, Sundowning features Vessel's shadow. It shows the effacement of the self. It's a way to picture the Sundowning condition that I've already talked about in other videos. Well, the cover for This Place Will Become Your Tomb follows the same logic. That is, Vessel now seen as a, a, a human submarine, just like his descendant disintegrating on Sundowning, he's also disintegrating here, falling towards the depths of the ocean. He's got missing limbs, I mean his legs are gone, and his head has a shadow, which could be a nod to Sundowning, and also to say that the projected shape and form are still there, but his head actually turned into these bubbles that, in my case here, I personally see as the songs that make up the album. These bubbles, they do look like planets and moons, and in a way they tie up to the Eden concept and, and to Sundowning. They are motifs of the sun and the moon and the oceans. It connects us to the power of nature, to the power of divine gods. This is just amazing. The attention to detail. And if we keep digging, we analyze the title now, This Place will become your tomb. What is this place? Due to various coordinates that were shared via their merch, it was investigated and guess what? Want to get away from everyone? You can't do better than a point in the Pacific Ocean and that is Point Nemo. This point will turn you into an island and you will be as far away from any piece of land as you can. And this gives me the idea that Vessel is using these analogies to say things like depression, isolation, these places will become your tomb. You're gonna sink towards the dark depths of the ocean if you keep on isolating yourself. You need to get out of this location where you're just sinking to the bottom and you're all alone. And what do you need to do that? You need to get out through the vessel. And here comes the genius idea, which is to find Point Nemo to have this analogy that I've just described to you, but not only that, Metal Scholars, he can now use Captain Nemo from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, the amazing story written by Jules Verne, as a parallel to his own story. And that's exactly what we see on the back cover of the album. We see Nautilus, which is the submarine, the super advanced high-tech submarine featured in the book. It's the vessel, and the songs are part of the structure of this vessel. So everything comes full circle now. It's Vessel and the Nautilus, a journey of isolation and transformation. And it's this journey that will depict what it feels like to be submerged, to feel like you're sinking, to feel like you're isolated. And it becomes a symbolic representation of Vessel's state of mind. And Vessel's alias actually may be drawn from the depths of Captain Nemo's Nautilus. It's a vessel that carried him into seclusion, a refuge from a troubled world. A world that he was trying to escape from, obviously, through the, you know, because of the personal struggles. And it mirrors Captain Nemo's drive towards solace and refuge. The album is a guide for everyone who has felt or will feel the same way. Through Sleep Token's music, Vessel channels his emotions, his experiences, just as Captain Nemo found release through the actions and explorations aboard the Nautilus. And the lyrics of Sleep Token intertwine with the essence of the Nautilus, right? Dark, introspective, guiding us through an emotional voyage. He invites his listeners to embark on a journey of self-discovery and personal catharsis. The video for Fall For Me will also depict that. Vessel is wandering the desert land, it's the low tide, the time where the ocean has reached its lowest level, rock bottom. He's lost, but he finds the lyrics, and that is shown as a sign of hope. And then he can find peace when he's back in the ocean again, as the Nautilus, the submarine. In my opinion, this is absolutely beautiful and a fantastic way to bring so many incredible ideas together and for us listeners to have such a unique experience through words, images, analogies, and so on and so forth. And thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments if your investigations lead you to similar conclusions or if you have other theories. If you want to suggest the topics for me to cover that you'd like to see analyses like this one, please do so. Music is what music does. I'm signing out. I'll see you soon. Embrace the night. Worship. Bye now.